From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories. Prime Minister Minutes making a stop in Grand Bahama to view government projects ongoing there, and he makes a couple of significant announcements. Reporters asked about rumors of a possible snappy election. The Prime Minister didn't give a direct answer. I don't even know when the election. Which is another thing. The election is officially due in May 2022. There's also been some talk of a snap election. Oh, I haven't heard it. On the COVID restrictions, you told reporters that because of the low numbers in Grand Bahama, there could be further easing of restrictions there as early as this weekend, including an extension of curfew hours. And on the sale of the Grand Lucan Hotel, this is what the Prime Minister told reporters. We have had professionals come in and review um, the agreements that we're um, negotiating and, and moving towards to ensure that it's um, compliant with um, international standards and um, we're getting the best um, price that we possibly can at this particular point in time. And I'm satisfied that we are. We have professionals reviewing that. And um, my understanding is that is moving progressively well. The Prime Minister said he could not give a definite date on when the sale will be completed, but said that as the country comes out of the COVID area, the hotel should be ready to go. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials continue to watch the coronavirus numbers for the country. Nine total cases for Wednesday, eight in the capital, one in Grand Bahama. The hospital numbers increasing slightly. There are now 19 persons in, one of them in the ICU. The others listed as moderately ill. Health Minister Wells confirming the government is going to spend in the area of $100,000 for coolers that could store the Pfizer vaccine, although there are no plans right now to get that. He says Cabinet has approved the purchase of those coolers. Opposition leader Davis planning to take advantage of that ruling made by House Speaker Moultrie this week that gives the Public Accounts Committee more latitude to operate. Davis says there are a number of issues surrounding how public funds have been spent during the Minnesota administration that needs a closer look. Police looking into the shooting of a security guard during a robbery attempt at Cash and Go's Rosetta Street branch. The officer shot on the hand during a scuffle with a lone armed robber. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area. Partly sunny today, maybe a passing shower. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 81 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. There's a high tide now, the next low around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous year. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines the Donald Trump impeachment trial in the U.S. Senate moving into its fourth day now. The House managers have completed their case, and lawyers for the former president will present their case today. Seventeen Republican senators need to vote along with Democrats to convict Trump. It's not likely. The U.S. dealing with major weather issues. Three winter storms are lined up across the country, including another major one, which is going to bring major snow and ice issues next week. Six persons died in a more than 100 car crash in Texas yesterday, blamed on icy roads. Countries around the world continue the rollout of the corona vaccines to fight that virus. Most countries now getting lower numbers of infections, including the U.S. Tribune's gas strike of prices heading into the weekend. Shell 437, SO 415. Rubus is now at $4.39 per gallon. That is up 38 cents. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section, a college sports update in the Tribune Sports Friday. Reports on tennis player Sidney Clark and basketball's Franco Miller. The coronavirus has hit the Australian Open tennis tournament hard. Find out what is going on there. There's an international cricket update in the Tribune Sports. And the latest on the NBA, both Buddy Heal and DeAndre Ayton off last night. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.